Thank you, 633 now. Breaking news again. Iran strikes back, firing more than a dozen missiles at bases housing U.S. troops in Iraq. The attack happened overnight there, but this morning the president says there appear to be no casualties. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joins us now live in the studio following this attack. And Kathy, we are expected to hear from the president sometime later this morning. Absolutely, and everyone, the entire world is now watching what the president will do. He actually tweeted yesterday, and he's expected to make a statement statement this morning. As I said, all the world is watching. Iran has threatened more attacks, but many believe tensions will come soon, will c soon come to an end. Newly released video from Iranian state TV shows what they say were missiles being launched from an undisclosed location in Iran. Those missiles headed to two Iraqi military bases that house American troops. The attacks are in retaliation to President Trump's decision to kill a top Iranian military general. In response, in a tweet, the president said, quote, all is well, adding an assessment of damages and casualties was taking place. The fact that there's no known casualties gives him greater uh, latitude in the way that he responds to, to this particular attack. Some more leaders this morning backing the president. President Trump should be congratulated for acting swiftly, boldly, and resolutely against this terrorist in chief. A local retired U.S. Army major understands the realities of war better than most. We went after a state actor. You know, that was a pretty high level of a guy to go after. You've, you've got to expect some reciprocity from Iran. He says right now military personnel are preparing for worst case scenarios. I can only hope is that the leadership of our nation, the national security team, are doing everything they can to make sure they're protecting our soldiers on the front line. And in a speech, Iran's leader called the strikes a, quote, slap in the face for the U.S. Again, President Trump is expected to talk about the situation later this morning, and we'll bring it for you when it happens. Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.